Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So check this out. Every maker has some of this stuff lying around. This is low adhesion blue tape, typically called painter's tape, but they really should change the name to maker's tape, honestly, because I think more makers are using it than painters in the world at this point. And at this point I need, well, yeah, I need to make something to dispense this. It doesn't really, well, it's just not elegant enough, right? And by the thumbnail, you guys are here to see what I'm gonna come up with to display this stuff. Not only display it, but dispense it as well. So let's get right into this and I hope you enjoy it. We got to make the sides and I'm using basically these pieces of scrap and maple again that I used in a cutting board or a table in a previous video. I'm going to blue tape these things together, which is fitting for this project. Use this tight bonds thick and quick. This is a PVA glue that dries in about 20 minutes and cures in about 24 hours, but it's workable within that 20 minute time frame. While that's drying, I'm going to trim up the piece we just carved on the bandsaw. And now this is my attempt at making a metal cutter out of some dimensional lumber joist hanging material. What I'm gonna do is essentially cut out with these tin snips a piece that looks like a utility blade. I'm then gonna glue tape, glue tape. This is blue tape on either side. I'm gonna use some CA glue to kind of stick it together. That way I can peel it off. This is actually a pretty cool CA trick. And then I'm gonna take it to my disc sander and kind of sharpen one edge just like this. Now with that edge fairly sharp, and it's not razor sharp, but I was able to take it off with that blue tape. And then I'm gonna sand everything flush here with some sandpaper on a flat surface. And this is gonna be the edge that's gonna be mounted on the front of the tape dispenser to cut the tape any length you need. Now, now that the quick and thick glue is fairly dry, it's only been about 20 or 30 minutes, it's ready to go. And I'm able to actually work it through the drum sander even in this state, pretty cool stuff. We're gonna get this to our final dimension. And then we're gonna cut out some pieces that are gonna represent the sides, essentially, of the blue tape dispenser. Now with one of the sides laid down, we're gonna place the base on it. I'm then gonna take the blue tape itself and then make some marks kind of around where I need to cut. The idea here is, is that we want something nice and flowing. Again, I don't have a plan here, I'm just kind of following my nose. I'm using that blue tape CA glue trick where I can join them together, cut them out, and then I can pull them apart once everything is done. I'm trimming them on the crosscut sled and the bandsaw, you can see. I've raised up the blue tape a little bit with that ruler to give me a mark 
where I'm going to put the actual dowel in and there you go. Now I've actually, well, <laughs> I've taken these apart prematurely on accident. I still haven't made the groove in which the dowel is going to slide into, but this kind of reminds me of a fish. As you can see, I'm, I'm playing with it a little bit. All right, so since I did take these apart too early, I'm using that blue tape CA glue trick. Again, we're gonna do the blue tape on either side, put a dab in there and stick them together. This is gonna allow me to have both pieces joined up again, like I said, to make some lines and make some cuts and then we'll have our final pieces. I'm going to the bandsaw, I'm just gonna cut this piece out. This is simply gonna be a groove that the dowel is gonna be able to slide into, but it's angled backwards. So when you pull the tape forward, the dowel doesn't come out. After getting the piece done, the final dimensions on the bandsaw, we're gonna take it to the spindle sander and make it all flush. Now, that piece of metal that I made to make the cutting blade for this, it didn't work out. So I actually went to, of all places, my wife's hardware collection, she had these old scroll saw blades that are gonna work pretty well, I think. So I'm gonna make a small kerf cut in the front of the tape dispenser. It's a little larger than the scroll saw blade, but that's fine because I want this thing to angle a little bit backwards. So we're gonna flood this with some CA glue, I'm gonna put the scroll saw blade in there. It's a used blade, so it's not terribly sharp, which may work out great for cutting tape. We're gonna put some activator on it, and that thing should hold pretty well. The only issue is, is that I need to actually trim out the front so the blade is flush with the, there you go, that's what I'm talking about. The blade is now flush with the front of the piece, and then every tape dispenser has a little bit of a raised area for the tape to rest right before the cutter head. And so that's what this piece represents here. Using more of this quick setting PVA glue, I'm gonna be very careful not to put too much here. I don't want this glue flooding into the insides of the tape dispenser. You just need enough to hold it in place. And then we're gonna clamp it all together for about 15 or 20 minutes. And then we should be good to go to do some final shaping. After removing some of these clamps after about 30 minutes, we're gonna test everything out and I'm pleasantly surprised. It leaves a very clean line. Good stuff. All right, now for some final sanding and some final shaping, kind of breaking some edges here. We've got some burn marks on the bottom of this. We're gonna take care of that with some 120 grit sandpaper here on the disc sander. And then I'm gonna use finally going up to 240 with a random orbit sander, kind of breaking all the edges, making everything feel pretty nice. I did spend a lot of time hand sanding this too, which I didn't have any footage of because it's just hand sanding. I can simply tell you and that should be good to go. I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be used like that, but that's pretty ingenious. Like a unicycle. Unicycle? Yeah. No, it's just not. No, it's not, you're right. What is it to you? It hurts. Oh, you got pinched? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, you wanna see it at the top? Here we go. One, no. two, three. It's nope. <laughs> it's stuck. There you go. You know it wouldn't be an Eclipse Inside video without the kiddos making an appearance, at least her for sure. All right, so now on to some hand finishing. I'm using this Odie's oil, it's a hard wax oil. Basically you just buff it on and buff it off. Pretty easy. I actually like to apply this by hand. You saw I was using a blue rag, but applying it by hand with some gloves is actually a good way to get it in all those nooks and crannies. And then after you flood the surface, you just buff it off. Essentially take another rag, buff everything off. You can repeat this process two or three times to really give you a nice luster. I've just done it once here because after all, it is a tape dispenser, but it actually turns out to make the wood very beautiful. You can see the natural grain coming out, darkens it up a little bit, really good stuff. Now, everything looks like it's working pretty well, but you know what? The tape doesn't stick anymore because I used a wax oil on the dispenser. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hand sand that little raised area just a little bit in a minute, just to kind of show you that it is gonna stick and it's gonna work well. But moving on, we're gonna go ahead and place some non-stick feet in there. They're these little plastic kind of rubberized feet you can find at your local big box store almost anywhere, but they're a little too high. So I'm gonna counter drill some holes. That way they sit in there a little bit more. And I think this is gonna be a pretty nice solution for it. I actually got this idea from Casey Reeves from C Reeves Makes. I'll link his channel down below. He makes some amazing cutting boards. He actually just made an amazing coffee table. Uh, his trick for his cutting board feet is the same as this. He drills in a little bit and then recesses the feet. So I gotta give him credit for that. So check him out too. All right, here's what I'm talking about. Went ahead and sanded that down and now everything sticks beautifully.
Well, that's this project complete. This thing, honestly, it turned out, well, it turned out way nicer than I expected. And I know it's just a blue tape dispenser, but it's made from hardwood. And it took some time to make. It took me about a day or so to put this together. And um, really cool. Now, is it something that's going to make it throughout the years? Will one of my children end up with this, you know, in their shop when they're an adult? Who knows? But that's kind of the beauty of it, is that you can come out here and make something out of scrap wood, and it should last a lifetime. And that being said, I want to encourage you guys to get out in your shops this week, look at your scrap, see if there's something on your bucket list that you've been meaning to make with scrap alone, and do it. And let me know what it is. Follow me on Instagram. I've got that link down below. Tag me and stuff. I appreciate anything you guys want to share. And again, thanks for being here. My name's Chris. This has been A Glimpse Inside. And I'll see you guys on that next project. And until then, get out there and make something cool, will you? Appreciate it. Talk to you later.